Hello everyone, it's Francesco here. So I just wanted to update you before we go away for Christmas about a few Evernote changes. So I'm gonna hop over to the computer and run through a few things there. But there's been some changes with Skitch, Pebble, and also Penultimate. The first of the updates is that Evernote Skitch is no longer going to be available on iPad, iPhone, Android, and Windows. They're going to be keeping it for Mac, however, so they've discontinued the service on all of the other platforms. Now, for those who don't know, Skitch is essentially allows you to edit PDFs, edit uh, any photos uh, or any links in any format, so web pages, etc., and make markings and annotations, sketches and shapes in them to essentially kind of relay your thoughts and ideas faster um, to other people. So they've decided to discontinue that on a lot of devices that they're going to continue it on the Mac, however. I kind of see this as a useful resource, but I don't tend to use it across my day. Evernote Skitch is something that's been out for a while, and a lot, I see a lot of people using it, but I tend to see them using it on the Mac. So that makes a lot of sense for Evernote to actually continue this through this specific platform. The second thing that Evernote did was clear or get rid of Clearly. Uh, Clearly was a service that essentially took all of your blog posts, articles, and basically like rip all of the like, visually visual negativity from them uh, and clean them up so that they're really easy for you to read. Um, something to go through really simply, you know, annotate and view without, you know, any difficulty. You could even save them right to Evernote from there for reading later. But essentially this feature was uh, brought into Web Clipper a little later on. So they're essentially just removing the service because it's irrelevant now they've got web clipper so as you can see it only gained on google chrome about 1.5 million users uh, i i didn't use it i doubt a lot of evernote is evernote evernote people evernote super users ever used it as it was pretty much web clipper in its essence so that was cleared out recently and the final announcement for Evernote uh, was that they removed uh, support for Evernote for Pebble. Now, Evernote for Pebble was essentially a Pebble watch feature uh, that really was accessible, allowing you to see all of your notes and checklists. Um, as you can see, um, it was a very simplistic application, but on a very niche service. Evernote were trying to become a very um, swift mover you know forward thinking mover here um, by just jumping on board with creating an app for this now pebble just so, like in in february 2015 so this year sold over a million smartwatches and i can probably suggest that they sold about two they have over two million smartwatches available at the moment so as you can imagine i mean the pebble watch uh evernote app was probably only used by let's say around two to three percent of that population and actively maybe even one percent of that entire pebble population so it was probably good that they removed that so that it became a slightly more streamlined and they didn't focus too much of their energy on this app the final evernote update was a small update that uh, they announced which was penultimate their handwriting app um, is just got iPad Pro and Apple Pencil support. Now this is quite interesting because they killed off, you know, they killed off Skitch, they killed off Clearly, they killed off um, the Pebble Watch support, but they didn't kill off Penultimate. And it seems as Penultimate actually continues the experience um, for Evernote, so it's not something they want to get rid of at the moment. They seem to be streamlining their service, so like cutting out all the negativity. They hired, they fired, sorry, thirteen percent of their staff near mid. Um, I think it was September time. They hired, they fired thirteen percent of their staff, and they're just basically kind of streamlining everything to make it more efficient. But I was quite surprised they kept Penultimate. Uh, they must have some good user numbers as do they have Skitch Mac users. So anyway, guys, there are the updates for Evernote. I really hope you enjoyed that. I'm just okay, thank you very much, everyone. Make sure to have a great week. Keep productive, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.